I think I can make these work in there. I'm probably gonna be in trouble with the wife, but she should know better by now. I mean, let's be real. Where were we before we were so rudely interrupted by another dead battery when it said it still had 10% left? Lies. As I was saying, my wife's probably not gonna be very happy with me, but she should be used to it by now. I have a hard time following rules when I'm building things. I just wanna be free like a bird and do what I want. One of her rules was when I was building this thing is that she wanted the stock interior look. I've already failed that because, well, I put seats out of a Silverado in it, so that's not gonna happen. Why stop there? The next thing I'm gonna do, bam, is gauges. I would love to go get a Dakota Digital Dash, have a good speedometer tack, fuel gauge maybe, I don't know. It's just, I'm poor. It just, it, it, I'm not cheap, I'm just poor. I do have these. I took these out of the truck, but I can't just, you know, go and stick them on the steering column and zip tie them in and be okay with that. Cause if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna full commit. And am I either gonna make a hell of a mess in there and have to change direction or bright side, it could turn out pretty cool, which is what I'm kind of hoping for. Well, we'll see what actually happens. Probably have to take these apart and clean them up at some point, but that's neither here nor there. Today is about trying to get them in. In the stock vehicle, these all clip in with plastic clips through these holes and all that jazz. Well, that ain't, that ain't, that's just not an option. I'm just gonna start by building a frame, basically. Probably a piece of sheet metal around here that I can attach to. And then once I get some kind of structurally, bleh, 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 bleh. once I get some kind of structural frame made up for this, I will then take this out of that and then take that and then into the car and then we'll start cutting and grinding and welding and, but first I, I gotta start with this. As I've covered before, I'm just, I'm just, I don't have the tools, the knowledge, the skill, whatever you wanna call it for metal manipulation <sighs> to make it the way I want it to look. I gotta come up with alternatives. I just, I can't get that a nice, it just, I can't, I can't form that the way I want it formed. I'm just gonna go after it with a welder now. Welder, grinder, cut off wheels, chop saw. Just gonna piece it together, just a little bit at a time. I know there's people that can do this. I don't have the skill or the tools to do it or the patience, quite frankly. So I'm gonna make what I do work. And I'm thinking, I'll get another piece that kind of goes down to about here. Just, just, just real quick, real, just, maybe even just, just, just to get it built. Then after that part's done, I can go back and fill it in. I just, I might even put some tape over those holes so nothing goes in there. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Thinking if I do this right, it should look pretty good. The trick is gonna be just getting little onto this and not melting plastic. So now while that's cooling off, I don't wanna pick it up because it's hot. I think the plan will be to make templates for some of this. Just keep working at it. Hoping if I make one template, it'll work good for both sides. So it'll work there. It'll also work there, okay. Yep, I think so. Pop a couple holes in it, some rib nuts. It's still hot. I'm sure like most things I do, there's someone that looks at this and goes, duh, let's do it this way. I don't know that way. I think I like it. Yep, it's gonna work. Okay, <laughs> try this again. You probably don't know this, but my camera died. Set at 36% of battery. I sat down to start recording and it went beep, 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 beep. Dead battery, denied. I grabbed a plethora of clamps here. A bundle, a dozen, oodle amount. I just want to be able to hold this together without breaking the plastic. Maybe I just do one side at a time. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I should do? I think I will do. Yep, I'm going to do. If I put rib nuts in this now, I can just bolt this to that, bolt that to that, weld that. Genius. Wow, that's really tight. 
If some more shit could fall, that'd be great. <laughs> I did it without breaking it this time. Woohoo! Ah, take it. Woohoo! Next! Best investment ever. Spring loaded center punch. Get you one. Riv nutty, riv nutty, riv nut nut, riv nut, riv nut, saves a lot of welding. If I didn't have this tool, I would totally just weld nuts on the back of this, and it would be just fine. But this saves a lot of work, makes it a little cleaner, and I like it. Now, as long as I don't over torque the shit out of these quarter inch bolts, the plastic should hold up just fine. I shouldn't bust that. <laughs> Look at that, they even bolt back in. God damn, I did something right. Hell yeah. Where's the rest of it? Where's the, there it is. The top as you would call it. This is just the frame that I'm building that the dash is gonna bolt to. And then this is gonna get attached into the car. It holds its shape and everything. I'll probably gonna put one on the bottom and then I'll take the dad, the cluster out of this, figure out where it's gonna fit in my dash and go hack that apart. I think I'm going for it. Remember Simon, just quick little tap and get out of there. Don't burn down the cluster. Ow, I just grabbed the tip. Shit, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot too. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that little tack is just not gonna be enough. I broke my own rule about just giving it a little buzz and just kept going. It's only a little melting. I'm sure it's not terrible. Okay, this side might be stuck to it. It's okay. It's fine. We'll just, hopefully you can just, yep, we'll just, it's fine. Once that cools off, you'll never know. <laughs> Looks way better. Pretty happy with it. You can, I mean, obviously it doesn't have perfect curves here. I don't have the talent or the tools to do that correctly, but this works just fine. So just know if you don't got the right tools, Improvise. Now, with any luck, this should just pop right in here like it does. All the holes line up still. It's awesome. From here, I gotta get the other stuff out of the car, I guess. Remove the current gauge cluster out of there and hack the dash up so this fits in there and then attach this to the dash and then I'll sheet metal it all in and it'll look like crap, but it'll be functional. And that's all I'm going for is functional. I just gotta try and remember if I welded this thing in or not. I know I welded the thing to the thing, but I don't know if I remember if I welded the thing to the thing. <clears throat> I guess we're gonna find out. This one's gonna fight me to the bitter end. And my finger really hurts. Yeah, I sliced my finger open and I'm smashing it into literally everything back here. Super fun. It's just loose enough that the ratchet doesn't wanna grab, but too tight to get with your fingers. Let's not make a habit of taking this in and out. This would have been smart to do before I did the firewall. Oh, how quickly plans change. I get it. I totally get it. I mean, it makes sense to me. You know, your speedometer, you don't care if that falls out. You know, your important gauges, don't care if those fall out, but your clock. Let's make sure that's extra secure with more clips as well as bolts. 
For the record, my wife still hasn't approved this idea. In fact, she doesn't even know I'm doing it. But once it's done, I can't undo it. So we have to live with it. <laughs> what I'm seeing is if I take it right here at this edge, across the bottom, up wherever I need to on this side, and then I'll run it back to this dash body line. Set this in back here, basically. I mean, I could come over this way to center the speedometer, but I don't I think that's dumb. This is designed to have the steering wheel right in the middle, which obviously this is a totally different vehicle. I think it'll be okay if it's off a little bit. It's either that or I go and slide the steering column over, which I don't know that I want to do that. No, I definitely don't want to slide the steering column over because then the seats won't. No, I'm not doing that. Nope, nope, nope. Most first things first is to get rid of this. Hack apart the dash. This is gonna be new for me. I've never done this before. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it's lunchtime. Okay, <laughs> here we go. It's either gonna be awesome or I'm gonna cry and try and figure out a creative way to fix my F up. It could really go either way. But nobody's here to stop me, so we're doing it. I don't know if you can see, but I do have an outline kind of traced out on here where I wanna cut. Basically where this is gonna open up. Just gonna cut a big hole, I think, and then uh, go from there. It wasn't so bad. Trying to get straight lines and curved metal with a cutoff wheel. Yeah, you know. Does it fit though? I mean, that's pretty goddamn good. I think it needs to go in farther. How much farther do we go though? Trying to figure out how to get the same distance back here and the same distance back here is not easy for me. Cause this curves and that curves and I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll just make it do. Maybe I just notch on any other side of the high point and then bend that section up. Yeah, let's see what happens. Huh, how does that work? Okay. It's starting to talk to me here. Gotta get this out of the way, I think. It didn't the way. I'm impressed I didn't lose any screws or bits and pieces. I don't know how to measure things to get things to come out where I want them. I mean, I know how to find center and blah, 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 but this isn't like your typical square or something. So we'll just mark roughly where center is on that. I think what I'm gonna do is figure out where I want this, as center as I can get it. So maybe 13 and a quarter. What's half of 13 and a quarter? Six and five eighths. Well, that's doable. Let's just put a mark up there and see how we look. It's very technical here. That's not even where I marked it. How the hell did that happen? That looks better. Let's just give it a little tack and see how we look. Let's get a hands-free view. Hot! Ow! Wow! Can probably work with that. Oh, that's it's going, yeah, because the dash kind of tapers that way a little bit. Let's, uh, I guess I've already checked to see where my car is for level. Yeah, I screwed that up. I let go too soon. There. It's sitting level in there. It's all temporary. It's just trust the process here. I don't know if it's the right process. It's just my process. Let's, we'll just pack a little more out of there. Maybe down to this line. <laughs> Huh, I'm sure that's fine. Just a key. What ifs? Do I want it angled up a little bit like that? I'm gonna say probably. What's the best way to do this? Think, Simon, think! Do I mount it back and farther? No, I don't think so. I just don't think so. I can make this work. 
I can do this one side at a time here. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna attach this to this, whether it's temporary or permanently. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got a plan. Got some more flat stock here. I'm just gonna weld that, my brake pedal assembly, bring this out to where I want it, attack that, and it'll give me something to build off of. That's what we're doing. Put a couple tacks on there, because it's my look if I go and burn it right in. I'll be cutting it out. Hell yeah. <clears throat> How do you suppose that key comes out? It's a total assumption, but I'm guessing those notches mean that this spins. Don't know what fell. Did it move though? Ow. I can't tell. Is it moving? I bet that spins. Well, it's spinning. Not sure if it's supposed to. Nailed it. So it got a little cut. No biggie. I'll deal with that later. I probably should have a seat and everything in here to make sure I'm putting this in the right spot. But I figure I can't even see the gauges of my other car, so I think that's it. Now we just support it because it's still a little flimsy. I'll make a shroud that covers this, kind of like the stock one would be. I have a little cover up here maybe. I don't know. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to get this thing locked in. There's probably a right and a wrong way to do this. I don't know the difference. I'm just going to take a bunch of this quarter inch rod, tie it to the dash. Should be good. And here we go with the burning through all the time. Well, the guy on TikTok made that look way easier. Hell yeah, rigid as F. That thing ain't going nowhere, no how. Or maybe one, one more middle support, maybe. I don't know. It can't hurt, right? Now she's rigid. Just ignore the smoke coming out of the ashtray. There we go. Got three on that side, one on this side, and then the big flat bar in there. And she ain't going nowhere. Nowhere, no how my battery's gonna die. Son of a. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out 